Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a general pick a pile reading with the passion messages. So readings are timeless and timestamps are in the pinned comments and decks are in the description box. There's also a link to my link tree so you can find me all over the internet as well as links to Etsy for this exact reading. I wanted to say thank you to the new subscribers and those of you getting Etsy readings. Also, I wanted to let you know that on my channel, if the camera zooms in, we pull a clarifier with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. And also, don't forget to go to the end of the video to find out what is in the box. You'll use your intuition to find out what is in the box, and intuition is super important on my channel. If I say something and it doesn't feel right to you, it doesn't uh, vibrate with you, it doesn't sit right with you, Whatever you know you want to say, if you feel that way, then you would want to either move on to another uh, pile or you can get a specific <clears throat> customized rating for you and your relationship. So today we have the blue sparkle die, the gray die, and the die with the stars. So we'll go ahead and start with the people who chose the die with the stars. And we have four passion messages from your person. So let's go ahead and get started. These are coming right up. And four. Okay. All right. So the first message from your person is hold our vision. So often this card comes up when the situation is being co-created. Now anytime we really interact with somebody we're co-creating with them but for you specifically with this person there really does have a feeling of a soulmate interaction where you guys came here with a plan of what you were going to do and you're feeling a little bit discouraged uh, you're feeling that this person really has no idea what's going on but this is from their higher self where they're saying you have a vision that you and I have ag agreed on energetically and I'll need you to stand strong in that so that we can move forward. Message number two is, I'm healing. Please work on your hurts too. I see that these two often come up together um, where you guys both had a plan coming in. Yeah, see, it's pulling up the reverse three of swords so the reverse three of swords is about a recovery after loss it's about you know forgiveness it's about healing the heart so there's a lot of healing that's going on uh, between the two of you uh, some of you are not in communication there is a feeling of things just didn't work out right they didn't work out the way they were supposed to there were feelings that were hurt uh, so this person is saying, you know, we kind of hurt each other, but I know it's possible for us to heal from that. And the next message is showing up as, I'm enjoying union with you in 5D. So this makes a lot of sense. You guys have a very deep spiritual connection. You have a past life connection. Someone very strongly in this group has ties to like Egypt and working in uh, temples some of you have been remembering that you guys had union during that time. So you can vibrate at what union feels like. Wow, what if you have a very interesting connection with this person? Let's see. Yeah, let's find out about a little bit about the vision. Wow, that just popped right up. So the vision that you guys are really sharing is showing as the justice card for a clarification. Wow, we're getting all kinds of clarity here and then that one is the tower so that is the clarity for the union with you in 5d so you guys had this vision of coming here and experiencing justice win-win solutions things working out really well for everybody involved but then there was something going on that hurt both of you there was a tower moment which is preventing you from experiencing this union in the third dimension, in the right here, in the right now, there's uh, some major things that are going on in the uh, collective and spiritually for the two of you with this connection. So there is some aspects of tower moments, you know, and people get scared of the tower. 
this is actually a pretty scary picture. <laughs> Um, but the, the tower really is about like uh, the universe coming in and bulldozing what you think you have in order to basically put up what you really want, which in this case is showing up as the Ten of Cups with the message of you are so very loved. So this really does have a, a, a journey feel to it. This is the... Uh, visualization of the whole entire relationship and what's going to go on with it. You guys are definitely headed to this 10 of cups, which is that feeling of <clears throat> love and support and marriage. You guys know what this feels like because you've vibrated at it. So what's happening is it's kind of coming to your attention that you need a tower moment to clear what you had to be able to realize and realizing as in not just like understanding or like a light bulb comes on, but like real realizing or actualizing or making this thing real in your existence. So that's a very excellent message. This person is really trying to give you the full understanding of what's going on so that you can stop experiencing those hurts and heal from them. You guys are right about here. So you have a long journey ahead of you with this connection. Um, but right now, the majority of you energetically are here. Some of you are here. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for letting me read for you. That was excellent news. If you need further clarity on your connection or, you know, if you have another question, you can follow the link down to Etsy to be able to get a personalized reading. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And don't forget to go to the end of the video to find out what is in the box. So for this is for group two who chose the gray die. And they, well, first is showing one, but you know, you go with the minimum of four. And five. All right. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So let's go ahead and we will read these together. Message number one is showing as I never stop thinking about you and your love. So this person, this relationship, you guys know about each other. You're in a relationship. I sense it's relatively new. Um, but you've been together for a while and there's a little bit of doubt about what's going on with this person, but they're right off the bat just saying, I will never stop loving or I never stop thinking about you and how much, you know, and your love. I want to make love to you. So this person has this feeling, they're not really obsessed, but they're, they have like this feeling of adoration. They have this feeling of really wanting to spend time with you. They, they miss you. Um, this person wants to give you some clarity on some things. So let's pull those. So this person wants to make love to you. This person has, you know, a, a lot of time and attention that they, they put on you and the connection. This next message is, I have healed because of you. With a clarity of the reverse page of pentacles. The reverse page of pentacles is about like some stubbornness and immaturity. So basically they were like, oh, because of you, I realized I was being stubborn and immature and I've been working on healing that. Their next message is, I look for ways to spend time with you, which really goes back to the, I want to make love to you. You guys have a really good connection. I think you're, you're doubting a little bit right now just because there's a lot of energy going on right now. And we're just supposed to be kind of releasing it, letting it go back to the universe. You're not supposed to be holding on to anything. Um, there's some minor annoyances that are happening right now, but nobody's like cheating or, you know, lying or stealing. This is more like squeezing the toothpaste from the middle of the container. This isn't major upset that's happening right now, but it's some definite annoyance. So the next message is, 
I know you are the one with the clarity of the three of cups and the three of cups is about celebration and friendship. You guys have a really great relationship. You're just kind of having a difficult time right now. See the clarity on that pulled up some, the five of swords, which is about feeling unloved, feeling like things aren't going the way you want them to go a little bit. Some of you are having a pity party. The clarity that pulled up when it uh, went back through was the reverse nine of pentacles. The reverse nine of pentacles is about some jealousy and some envy. So you're kind of letting, letting your thoughts get the best of you. You're not believing that this person sees you as the one. Okay, let me pull this last card on that one. And then that showed up as the reverse eight of wands. Okay, so sometimes it goes crazy. The reverse eight of wands is about frustrations. So that's really what I see. Also, it was 11 minutes and 11 seconds. So it's 11, 11 when that showed up. So you're having a little bit of a hard time right now. Uh, a little bit you're having, some of you are having a pity party. Uh, oh, things are never going to go my way. I, I don't get to have sex with my person. Things aren't just working. So uh, some of you are learning patience in this situation. The last message that's coming up is I know there is divine timing. So even though things are just not working out for you guys right now, there is divine timing and things will work out when they're supposed to work out. And sometimes that's a frustrating feeling because you feel like, well, if it's not working out, why move forward? But sometimes the things that don't look like they're working out are definitely working out. All right. So thank you so much for letting me read for you. And if you need specific information, you can go to Etsy and get a personalized reading. Also, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And then don't forget to go to the end of the video to find out what is in the box. All right. So now this is for the third group that chose the sparkly blue dye. And you got one to begin with. You know, I love to do minimum of four. <laughs> there we go. We got four. And Okay. Message number one, I'll never stop loving you. You and this person are in a committed relationship. I've sensed for a large majority of you, you are married to this person. Uh, you, they have made a lifelong commitment to you. The next message, you are the one my soul loves. Like you and this person are in a committed relationship. There's no part of them that has any you guys have been together for a really long time and they just, they know you're their person and that's not their unwaveringly. So know that you are their person. I love being your best friend. Oh, you guys. Wow. I, I, this card very rarely comes up. So that's kind of cool. I think a lot of people don't get the opportunity to be married to their best friend. Next message, I think about caressing your naked body. So you and this person um, are not able to be as intimate as you normally would. Um, for some of you, it's because you aren't physically together. Something is keeping you apart. Um, but it's out of your control. It's not something that is um, voluntary. You guys are just kind of going with the flow and you're missing this person. And they adore you. This person adores you. Well, our next message, I'm learning to be my best self. So during this time separated, uh, you guys are both learning things. Your person is learning, just like, like they said, how to be their best self. And the part of the lesson for you is to be able to learn that this person is your best friend and you are uh, secure and to be able to, to find that... You have it a lot. 80% of the time, you know that everything's cool. 20% of the time, you let your head, 
get in the way and you have a, a really uh, a fear about, oh, well, yeah, it's been going really well for a, a while, but, you know, nothing lasts forever. Ooh, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. That's what you're re resonating at. And uh, you need to stop with that thought. Uh, because for one thing, how long is forever? Could, you know, forever when you are waiting for your last 20 minutes of work to end feels like forever. And forever with your soulmate could be an eternity. This is the one your soul who loves you with their soul. So you can rest assured that good things can last forever. Love lasts forever. And they will never stop loving you. So rest assured that this relationship is probably one of the more stable I've ever read for. For real. Um, this person adores you. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me read for you. And if you need further clarity or have any other questions, you can head over to Etsy for a personalized reading. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And now it is time for what is in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? And what is in the box is the green lock. All right. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. And I look forward to reading for you again.